and welcome to my channel my name is Jess and today I am going to be talking you through how to cut short hair at home we're in another lockdown here in the UK everywhere seems to be in lockdown right now so we're doing home haircuts so I'm going to be cutting my mum's hair she has quite short hair so we're going to be using clippers and I've just got a few tips that I thought I would show you as we go. The first tip, I would highly, highly recommend getting yourself a decent pair of clippers. If you can stretch your funds a little bit further, go and order or buy yourself a decent pair of clippers. So these are a professional brand and I will be using these and they are a bit on the pricey side. However, if you can afford a decent pair, get yourself some. If not, just grab in a pair of clippers, preferably that changes on the side like this. So you can see you've got, that would be half and that would be zero. Half and then zero. So this makes blending in haircuts a lot easier for you, especially if you're not a professional. So, getting yourself something that moves on the side will help your haircut. The other thing I would say is if you're cutting short hair, like mine for example, if the person having the haircut is happy to have an undercut, that would be the easiest thing for you to do. So, sectioning the side of your hair and clippering underneath, so I just section a straight line, wet it down, smooth it up, and then clippering underneath, try and get it kind of symmetrical all the way around. And then you'll have an undercut and it will look tidy and last you until the salons reopen. So that is my first tip. We're going to get on with the video. We're going to start our haircut and I will help you as best I can along the way. So the equipment I'm using, I've got the clippers. Start with a grade that's higher than the grade you want to achieve so if your boyfriend mum dad partner sister whoever if they want their hair to be a grade one start with a three which is what i've got on here and then you want a comb that's got wider teeth because that is easier for you to use especially being a non-professional so you want to start with dry hair as this is much easier on the clippers you can use clippers on wet hair but you would have to use professional clippers most likely so when clippering hair you want to feel for the occipital bone which is around the middle of the head and you want to kind of move the hair away from this part so clips will be the easiest way to do this do I sound professional? Now, if the person's hair you're cutting is determined to have a blend, ideally next you would go down to a 2 and then a 2.5 where this part comes in handy, where you can move it across, which will help you blend. So if you've got your three up to here, you'd then want to do the two slightly lower or your two and a half and then your two and then the one. However, with this, we are just going to go in short as if it's an undercut. So we're going to go a bit higher and take this all down to around a one. When you're doing the bottom, you're always going to want to go in several directions because the hair doesn't grow all in the same direction.
and let the hair fall in on the floor. <laughs> when using the clippers, do try to go outwards rather than just in. So you want to kind of turn the clippers as you're cutting. Now I've created this line across here, I'm going to blend that in using the two. Again, you want to be using this kind of flicking motion so you don't just go straight in with the hair and having your model looking down. If you're still seeing a bit of a line if you do this at home, don't worry too much if you are doing an undercut as the hair at the top is going to fall over this. Now, as we don't want too much length coming off of this from the top here, all we're going to do is comb upwards, gripping the hair and pulling back down just to check that you've got a line across the bottom, making sure it's nice and even. Another way to do it would be to comb up and just cut the very ends off. This type of haircut doesn't need to be perfect anyway, as this is something that you can style and it will still look as though you've kept up with haircuts. Just before we go on to this bit, we're just going to trim the hairline around here. Going to use a smaller clipper. They're loud. Now, when cutting any of the length, especially when just using scissors and not clippers, you want to make sure the hair is wet down. Now your section doesn't have to be necessarily perfect. So as long as you've got a section, hang on, let's just see that I can show you this. All right, as long as you've got a section across the top and then going down, you can kind of see there, that's the area we're working with from the top down here. So you just kind of want to do around the back. And then it doesn't matter how much you can grab from here because anything that drops will want to leave that length anyway. So just comb it all up. But it's nice and simple. Like I said, anything that drops down here, you just want to leave. So comb it all up. Just angle this up. And then you want to grip that and just take the ends off. Where's my scissors? So that is pretty much that bit done. So we're combing all of that out the way now and we're combing this out the way and we're just going to clip her over the ear on this side. So I'm starting with my two this time. As we know, we haven't got much of a blend going in. 
So we are just going straight in with the two. The easiest way to get the results you want is to just making sure your sections are as clean and clear as possible. lines and things like that with that one yeah So your next section, you want to keep the top separate from what is going to be the side. So with the side, we are looking at how long we want this to be to hang over the undercut. So with this, I would say it is quite simple on how you would do this, making sure the hair is fairly wet, combing it all down and just taking the cut from how long you want it to be. Now, as you can see, some of the back has come over here and is longer. So combing that towards the ear at this angle and then just cutting up. Sorry, pulled a bit, didn't it? Mm. Now, I would, as the hair is quite thick, and I am a hairdresser, I am going to texturise this slightly by just cutting a few strands along the hair. I wouldn't recommend trying this part, but, you know, I'll just explain what I'm doing. The dog's barking. <laughs> there is another way you can do this by combing the hair out and just chopping into the hair. But again, you just want to do that a couple of times. Don't overdo it as that will be easier to hide, easier, harder to hide if you make a mistake. Right now, did you say you just want a little bit off of the length at the top? Yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, now I've dropped the top, that is falling just over the sides, which is the kind of length we want it to be. So if your client slash model is happy to leave the top and you're a non-professional, I would recommend leaving it. However, if they do really want it cut, then there is a simple way of doing it. I say simple, but I can't imagine Sam copying me. <laughs> it's a bit mean, isn't it? Making sure the hair is wet enough is key. 
want to start at the back of the head and you just want to take some of the hair from the back again don't worry too much about how clean your section is because you're not a professional when we do it you just want to be taking the ends off hope you can see that i'll try and zoom when i add it so you can also see how short i'd taken it behind if you take a very thin section you will be able to create a guide so once you have that, the easiest way to do this will then be create a section down the middle of the head, taking the bit you've just cut along with some more of the hair so you can see the difference. I've got a bit to cut there and nothing here. And then taking that along the middle of the hair, following that pattern and just taking those ends off. The same down the next part. Again, focusing just on the top. She wants a treat. I know. Look at that's so funny. Why? Right, then to check that all of the top is even you will then go the opposite way so from the top this side combing across to the other side and then pulling that section up you can see that there is still a little bit of length there so just making sure it's even all the way across yep and again you don't have to be really precise with where you're combing it you're just checking that it's even across the top if you struggle to get it even i do recommend that you don't keep cutting the other thing you can do is pull up the top keep some of it in your fingers and just chip into the ends and that will create some texture and just keeping the hair tidy for now And again, if you're doing this and you're not a professional, I would again recommend leaving the front. However, if they do want some off the front, if you comb the front upwards and then in the opposite, pulling that hair in the opposite direction to the way they normally wear their hair, you will find you have some left in your fingers and just take those ends off. And then that way, when they wear their hair in the correct direction, they've still got that flow in that direction. So I've just done the same thing I did on this side, on the opposite side. So that is pretty much everything you need to know. So if you are doing this at home and you're about to buy yourself some scissors, please, please stay away from thinning scissors. Even if your client or model has the most hair in the world they will take chunks out of the hair unless you buy professional high-end thinning scissors so please stay away from them if they have got really thick hair then all I would suggest is taking the undercut higher and having less at the top and just leaving it longer over that undercut so what we're going to do now is we're just going to put a little bit of color on my model's hair and dry it, which I'm just gonna do in a hyperlapse. I won't talk you through that, but please stay tuned for the next video as I will be doing a home coloring. And I will also, oh, don't oh. I know. Right, back down. I will also be doing a how to cut your own hair when mine is a tad longer but I will only be doing a trim. Good on, say goodbye. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to do how to trim your dog. <laughs> Not that I enjoy doing that. <laughs>